Luckily, no one was hurt. James's driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Forget James being hurt. Driver and fireman would either be paralyzed or dead if the impact was strong enough to put James on his side. But there was trouble ahead. Engines probably don't have seat belts, so a sudden impact at high speeds would likely throw them out of the cab or they would get beat up quite badly from being flung around in it. Crew jumping out of an engine before impact is a common thing in this show. While it may save their lives technically, they'd probably be pretty messed up for life from the injuries received from jumping out at over 70 miles per hour. And the people in the brake van would be dead, no question. Disaster lay ahead. Especially with an open cab of a tender engine like James, the crew could easily be flung out or smashed into the controls. At a speed like this, the survival odds are not too great. He jerked his driver off the footplate. Probably a few bruises and broken bones from being jolted out of the cab. Last load, pour down. Help! Help! If Thomas's crew were still in the cab, they'd either get buried to death by the coal or get some pretty nasty health problems from inhaling all that dust. Bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Crew would probably get a few broken bones and bruises from being thrown out of the cab, and if the driver landed in the position that he is shown in now, I can easily imagine a broken tailbone. The guard would be pretty badly beaten up from being thrown from the cab, the driver and fireman would be badly beaten up from the inertia of the impact, and the barber and his uh, customers would probably be pretty badly injured by falling debris and dust. Go steady! The van's breaking! And those would be the guard's last words after being crushed to death. Horrors, cried Thomas, and shut his eyes. The house rocked. The family would probably get pretty badly injured by the falling debris and would have other issues to worry about than their ruined breakfast. Also, if Thomas had no driver to stop him, he would probably go right through the house and keep going, crushing everyone in there. Percy's driver and fireman had jumped clear. Again, injuries from jumping clear. Injuries from inertia jolt and inhaling all that lime. I'm not a chemistry expert, but I don't think inhaling that is good for you. People would be injured by falling debris. But it was too late. Crew beaten up by the inertia of the crash. And applied the brakes. Probably some bad injuries from the inertia of the impact. If the crew didn't jump out, they probably have injuries from falling in the turntable. Wait. There's probably more to worry about than being covered in fruit. If Percy went into that truck in front of him, the crew are probably gonna go straight into the cab controls with busted noses and ribs. Probably minor injuries like whiplash. Might get a few bad bruises or broken bones from that fall. I'd also worry about his male equipment getting messed up if he fell on Duke's funnel instead. If the crew were still in the cab, they would probably get whiplash and injured by flying debris. Hello. Elephants are extremely dangerous animals, so it's likely someone could get attacked and killed, especially with them not being able to see. Although the impact would be less as both trains were moving, the crew would probably get some bad bruises or whiplash. If there was an operator in Cranky at the time, he would most likely either be dead or paralyzed. Also, needless to say, the people in the shed would either be crushed by the ship or falling roof.
there is little chance the driver would survive that fall, especially considering the lorry probably doesn't have an airbag. He would not be thrown from the wreck, no chance, but if for some reason he was, he'd probably be paralyzed or dead. One of the only episodes that actually shows the crew injured, though it would likely be more than shown. Also, with the speed Gordon was going at, he likely would have gone fully through the wall and down into the town below, which would lead to injury or death of not just the crew, but people down below, as well as damaged houses. Along the lane, but not Sir Topham Hat. Never mind falling into the pond. I'm more concerned about that oil splashing on him. He'd probably get pretty badly burnt if it's from a hot steam engine. freight car wouldn't move until Gordon forced it. If it was strong enough to cause the outside of the mine to collapse, there probably wouldn't be any survival chance for people in the mine. Crew could easily drown after being sucked out of cab, making it difficult to get to the surface again. Then, suddenly, it caught fire. If the fuel tanker was leaking, then it would likely leak flaming fuel onto the ground and cause a wildfire, which who knows how much damage it was caused. Also, smoke inhalation is probably a big issue, too. But it was too late. Sir Topham Hat would not be scolding Gordon's crew at the scene. They would either be in the hospital with bad injuries, or they'd be choking from inhaling all that sand. Disaster lay ahead. Probably some serious whiplash or broken bones. And Oliver would not just stop at the end of the shed, he would keep going. And he couldn't ask the conductor, he had jumped clear. Guard would probably have a few broken bones from being thrown from Toad. Assuming this ghost story was true, then there is no way that the crew would survive that fall. Where do I start? Drivers would get injured from engines crashing, and if there were any crew near the shed, they would be crushed by the boulder, killed by flying debris, or killed by the explosion. If the shed exploded, there was probably some flammable substance in there. Also, if we take physics into account, the viaduct would likely collapse from the boulder's weight, and no one would survive that fall. Even if the boiler's heat kept them from getting hypothermia, they would easily suffocate from lack of oxygen and smoke inhalation. But it was too late. He went off the rails at Bulgy's Bridge. Percy's crew probably would have fallen out, getting serious injuries. Instead of the trucks. If any workmen were near the accident, then they could easily be killed by the falling shed. Hay would not soften the impact of a helicopter crash. Not taking into account the damage from the impact, Harold would likely catch fire or explode, with little chance of pilot survival. That rockfall would easily injure or kill people nearby, and Thomas's crew would get messed up from the impact. Oh no! He cried. Even if Jack had safety cages in his cab, the driver would probably get a few minor bruises. But the broken plow hit the water tower. Thomas's crew could get some bad injuries if they happened to have any body parts sticking out of the cab. Like Thomas in the breakdown train and the flying kipper, any time an engine falls on its side, the crew is probably going to be very badly injured or killed. Look out! Duck shouted, but it was too late. Help! Diesel's driver would be pretty beaten up, maybe with his head through the cab window. Not a great chance of survival. Tipped over. 
Percy's crew could have easily fallen out into the coal hopper, either dying from injuries or suffocating from the coal. Crash, bang, wallop with the balloon and landed right on top of James. I would be concerned about the balloon going up in flames from James's boiler heat, killing everyone. Oh, help! Gordon cried as he slid off the tracks. Going at that speed, the crew would likely get thrown out after the impact or crushed by Gordon. The rest of the crashes would be very tame compared to that. Percy. If the crew wasn't thrown from the cab or killed by the impact, they would be cooked alive by the boiling chocolate. Bill's crew would be pretty messed up from the crash, getting whiplash or broken bones. Whoa! said Thomas. Needless to say, so many issues in real life. Thomas could derail, jet engine could explode, driver and fireman could be sucked out of the cab from that speed, all resulting in likely death. Ah! He yelled. Duncan's crew would probably drown from being stuck underwater if they weren't crushed to death. Thomas's crew could die of suffocation from the dirt. As the rocks began to fall, but Fergus was covered in rocks right up to his funnel. With an open cab, Fergus's driver would most likely get crushed by the rockfall. And knocked Edward right off the track. Edward's crew would probably get some bruises or broken bones from the engine falling on its side. But it was too late. Especially with the driver peering out of the cab during the crash, he would be thrown from it and would die. Toby's crew would probably get pretty sore necks at the least from whiplash. There was a loud crash. I hope there was no one in that brake van. They could die of being suffocated from the dirt. Reneus whoosh down the mountain like a roller coaster. With the open coaches and no seat belts, I imagine at least one of the children would fall out in which going at that speed would likely kill them. Yes! There is! If Oliver's crew weren't injured from the impact, which is unlikely, they could easily die from being buried in the snow while Toad's crew would get pretty messed up by him rolling on his side. Thomas's crew would likely be severely injured or paralyzed. At the speed Duncan was going, the crew would either get bad whiplash, bust their faces open on the cab, or be thrown out. That is, if the elephant did fly forward like it did in the episode, it could have easily tipped backwards instead and crushed Duncan and his crew. Just in time. Had that bridge actually collapsed, Duncan's crew would have died easily from drowning or being crushed by him. <laughs>